Hello, today we have a HP Omen for cleaning. And the model is uh, 17T-W2000. We have to open the laptop and replace the thermal paste. And just to have an idea how this laptop looks like, it's basically very clean and uh, well maintained machine. So let's start of course. We have to disconnect the battery first. Now I don't really remember but we have to remove all the screws and uh, we'll see after that. We have second hard drive here, that's not the original optical drive. Now we'll remove all the screws on the back and hope everything here will those two screws a little bit longer keep that in mind the four on the bottom are shorter the ones on the hinges are also different so pay attention on the screws when you open the laptop Now, let's see. Use something sharp. Now we're gonna close it and we're gonna try and lift the plastic if we can of course. Let's see we have some rubber pieces here. No, we don't have anything here. Okay. the back should come off uh, we have two screws under the battery sorry got them out of focus let me remove the out of focus Yeah, we have two screws here, sorry about that. The laptop doesn't have a battery, it's been removed before. Now let's take out the fan and see 
what we are dealing with. We have to remove the Wi-Fi cables, of course. We have a third screw here, right next to the power connector, so pay attention on that. As we can see, we have a lot of dust. We're going to remove the cooler in order to replace the thermal paste. Just move it a little bit left to right in order to get loose and just open it. As you can see it's very dirty inside. Now let's first clean the old paste. We're going to use a Q-tip around the edges. At least that's my way. It's way easy not to damage the chip this way because the Q-tip is soft. So first we're going to take the big pieces. And after that we're going to use some alcohol and we're going to clean the chip like this. We're going to clean the cooler also. Like this. Now I'm going to stop the video for a second just to, to vacuum all the dust and I'll be right back. Now I did try to clean the laptop. Now we're going to put a new paste and we're going to reassemble. Don't put too much paste because next time you will have more to clean of course. You can leave it like that, you can spray it with a finger, absolutely the same, because once you put the cooler and put the screws back, the tension will spread the paste evenly. So now let's put the cooler back, slide it a little bit left to right in order to make a better contact. And now, of course, we have to put everything back. Which is the boring part. You can skip it, of course. I always forgot to mention, but everything you do, if you open the laptop, you do at your own risk. Because I have some people write me, I did absolutely the same, and now my laptop doesn't power on. Well, apparently you did something wrong, because if you do this the same way and you don't break something, you should be able to power on the laptop. So just be careful, it's not that hard. And once you get used to it, it's very easy.
Now we have to put the Wi-Fi cables. Just a second. Sorry about that. The customer came in, so let's continue. We have to connect the last like this. Now we'll put the back cover. Let me connect the fan, of course. Otherwise, we have to open the laptop again. We'll clean that later. Now let's put the screws. Don't forget the two under the battery. We lost one of the screws. I'll find it, of course. Let's just test. We have to wait a little bit for a picture, yeah. Everything is working. And 
not. Now we have to go that extra mile for the customer and clean this laptop. So we'll be right back. That's how the laptop looks at the end. We did clean it as much as we can. Basically that's the whole video. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Bye bye.